you how I clean my stove without any harsh chemicals. I'm just going to take the, the grates off. I'll wash them later. And you can see all that dirt on my stove. It's grease. Grease and grime. So I'll just take these greasy things off first. I'll put them in the sink. I'm not going to put this in the water. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to mix up. Let me see, let's see here. I'm almost out of baking soda, but I use baking soda. I'll put some baking soda in my bowl. A couple spoons. That's all you need. I don't really measure. I just kind of make it to where it's a little bit pasty. Add a little bit of peroxide. There, it's kind of pasty. And, oh, if you can see, it's a little bit pasty. That's all you need is paste. And what I'm going to use instead of paper... Instead of paper towels, I'm going to use dinner napkins because I don't have any paper towels. I kind of cut down on paper towels because I'm using um, my cloth napkins now and I made some unpaper towels, but I don't want to use them on here. But first off, I'll just wash, I'll just wipe off the big, the big things off of it. Just. crumbs that fall in. Okay, so I'm just going to, I use my hand to put this up on. You just get the paste and you just start wiping the top of the stove. And it's not really hard scrubbing. But it loosens everything up. There's stuff stuck on there and grease. And my husband does most of the cooking, so he's kind of messy. Messy because he's a great cook. He does most of the cooking. He's Salvadorian, so it's delicious. So I'm just wiping every part of the stove on top. And then I use these things. I need to wash these. But I bought these that go, these strips that go in between the stove and your countertop so the food doesn't fall in. That's really great, too. Okay, it's coming clean, it's wiping. See how ugly it is, it's just so gross. Just wipe every part of it. And you can feel the things that are stuck on the stove and they just come off. It's going to take a little bit more scrubbing there. We'll get another napkin. I'll put some more of this on here. This is the side that we use the most so it's dirtier. The front. The big burner. But it's all just coming off and it's get crumbling up. So you can see the crumbs. In the back. Look at this seat. See, so you don't have to use harsh chemicals, it just comes right off. 
and it doesn't scratch your stove and you don't have to breathe all that strong stuff, that strong chemicals, you can just wipe it off. Just a few minutes. It usually takes me longer because I do everything slow, but this is, I'm trying to go a little bit faster. But everything's just, all the grease. Don't have any problem getting the grease off. Just the corners, all the little, there's little spaces where you just wipe it. It's crumbling up. Okay, so I'll do the rest of this later. I'm just kind of wiping it a little bit, but I wanted to show you how easy it is to clean your stove, your stove top. So now I'll just bring it all over here to the front because I'm going to pick it up and take it off. That's just a few minutes. It was pretty dirty. I got behind on my work. I kept saying I was going to get to the stove, but I don't want to take a chance with a grease fire or something. And it's just nasty looking. Just wipe all of my missing spots and just wipe all around. I'll get the back of the stove later. I just want to show you this part. See, it just crumbles up. It's kind of got a little brown scent from the dirty grease. And I'll just pick that up. Okay, there it is. There's all the dirt off my stove. I'm gonna get another napkin. Yeah, you can just polish it. Just polish it all the way around. I'll clean that guy. It's a little polishing left to do. I want to show you how I clean my burners. Sometimes they, the, you know, the burner, the little holes don't let out the, the fire. I want to show you what I do. You can take these off. There's a little screw, these little screws here, you could take it off, but I don't have that little screwdriver to get that out. So what I do just to get by, I can't find a little screwdriver like that there. I'm sure they're out there because they have this holes there. But I use two picks, let's see if I can get one out. I need them. Look at that. I don't know why I buy that. Okay. Well, here's a couple toothpicks. I'm just going to get these toothpicks. I'm going to get one. I'll show you with this one. And then I just clean that behind it inside the little thing that clicks and I just clean that around it. I should have showed you how it worked first. Oh, I had to put a little thing on top of it. Well, I'll just show you how it works because I've already put that little thing in the water. I have to dry it and clean it. But you just kind of just do that. Let me see if I can get this other one. Now I didn't put this one in the water because I don't want to, I don't know how you dry it. But it goes on top like that. And I'll just show you how that one starts. 
used to not work that good. But see, they're all burning. But what I do with them, it's not hot, is I just went, at one time they weren't all working, so I just went through here and poked holes. I poked all the little holes with a toothpick. Went all the way around because they get clogged up. I know that um, for a long time I went without using the burner because, you know, they, it just wouldn't burn right. Not knowing that all you have to do is poke holes and clean it. I know people that have thrown away some, um, stoves just because of that. But... Anyway, I just go through and I clean them all like that. See, there's old um, stuff that got in there from my baking soda. And I'll just get the toothpick and clean around there. But that's all you have to do is just clean that. Just put that little thing there. Just clean around it and run that little flint thing and it'll work like new if you can't get that little this take off this little if you can't take this little burner thing off unscrewing it and then you just clean it up i'm just gonna wipe this down i'll wipe this down later because it's a little bit feels a little greasy i'll use that mixture and then that's it that's how i clean my stove I just polish it up just took me five minutes. Wipe the top. Let's shine it up with a clean napkin. And it's done. And then with these things, after I clean them again, put them back here and you don't have to worry about getting food in between your stove and your counter. And that's all. Shiny stove. Thanks for watching.